All right, so the last round of all three of the starter decks, this is the uh, Amber Amethyst versus the Emerald Ruby starter decks. This will be the last deck I have to play. This will be the last deck the wife has to play. And yeah, let's get this thing started. You want to start the roll? Do a high row. Eight. Nine. Ooh, the first roll you won. <laughs> I will go first. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm excited to play this one. So what we got here? Uh, yeah, I'll keep. Uh, let me look and see what I got going. In case anybody wants to see the, the opening hand here. Yeah, we didn't do that with the last game. No, we didn't. That's all right. Maybe if we do, like, more of this, that will be, like, every starting game will show the opening hands or something. I don't know. <clears throat> it's a bad hand. Don't look at the camera. I'm looking away. I have no clue if they can see it. <laughs> it's a bad hand, but I've not mulliganed yet, so you on the play? Yep. Dingle hopper into ink. Stitch new dog. Pass. <sighs> playing my man against me. I am. I'm playing the boy. Okay. Oh, draw. Yeah. Don't want to forget that again. about it all wrong. Yeah, that's what it feels like. <laughs> well, ugh. I, I, I hate this. I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Oop. Scar, Sorry. fiery usurper, mm -hmm. ink. Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. My turn? Yep. Um. Hmm. Questionable, questionable. Indeed, indeed. I think Ariel on human legs will become ink. And then I think... Alright. Going for it. Play one Olaf. And then lore for one. As one does. Pass. Apparently I was starting at one lore, so. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> cheater. I knew what I was doing. I knew where I was going. Horus. Uh, no good scoundrel. Yep. Ink. This is a match, too, where we should all be semi-familiar, where we've played these decks all now. Aladdin, Prince Ali. He's got ward. Opponents can't choose this character except a challenge. Yep. I will go ahead and uh, lure quest. One. We quest. We don't lure. We quest. My turn? Yes. All right. Uh, Olaf, the friendly snowman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one does. And three, Maleficent Sorceress. When this card, when you play this character, you may draw a card. What is this? It's a card. That's interesting. Um. Mm -hmm. 
I will. Lore? Quest? Attack? Taking out my tits. Olith? I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna say you wouldn't kill. Yeah. I'll you just, just take damage. I'm gonna lure. You're gonna quest? Yeah, I'm gonna quest. I'll pass. Okay. My tips. I wonder if there's a strategy in this game where you can just ignore what your opponent's doing and just go on full tilt. <laughs> you ain't luring. got no lore, <laughs> Sergeant Tibbs. <laughs> Ice cream, Sergeant Tibbs. Sorry, Prince Ali, uh, the, the song that Jeannie sings uh -huh. is stuck in my head now, because <laughs> Prince Ali. Yeah. Oh, fabulously wealthy, practically untouchable, genuinely inauthentic. But yeah, sorry, it's stuck in my head. <sighs> now I gotta figure out what way I'm going with this. This might be my favorite my favorite flavor text and I'll I'll say it when I cast a card, but I love it. Uh you're gonna hate me for this, Mickey Mouse Steamboat Pilot. Ink. I don't hate you for that. I thought that was your favorite card. I just like the artwork a lot. Oh. I don't know if the card's any good, but I like the artwork a lot. Um Gotta figure out what I'm doing here. I got options. So many options, so, like a million options. Mm. Did I play an ink? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah Steve I went Mickey. first and I haven't missed a land drop yet. Okay. Yeah. Or an ink drop. An ink droplet, if you will. Lay droplet. Okay, I'm going to play Jasper, Common Crook. Uh, he, whenever I quest with this character, I can choose an opposing character that can cannot quest their next turn. Mm -hmm. In theory, yeah, you should know these cards. I don't need to read them. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to quest for two. Going on a quest. We're going on a quest. I want to look at something. I just want to make sure we're doing the mm -hmm. damaging right. What do you mean? Yeah, just like how the damage works. I was going to say, I'd hope so. After this point, so, we look like idiots on the internet. <laughs> what is different than any other day I play? Normally, online? I'm not the idiot on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> All right. I'm just the one in the comment section. Mm. I don't know if I want to get to that guy. What's he playing with? Oh, his dinosaur? Uh, seven. Sven. Oh, I thought you... Um... I thought you were saying he was seven castles like that. Yzma. When she quests, I get to look at the top card of my deck, put it on either top or bottom of my deck. Um, Questing with all of them. As one does, yes, yes. And passing. I will say so far in this deck, I, I don't like how rinky dinky a lot of these characters are so far that I've drawn. 
Although I did just put like one of the big guys <laughs> down in my inkwell, but. What does she do again, Isma? Whenever she quests, I look at the top card of my deck, put it on at the top or bottom of my deck. And then she's a play character, or uh, on the play characteristic, or whatever you want to call it. I don't remember. What? You gave it a weird. It only happens when you play her. Yeah, Maleficent. Yeah, she's ETB. In yeah, Adafu. ETB. Okay. Um. I'm going to regret this, because I'm sure this would have been nice to have. Mm. Or Bob. Or yeah. There he is. I'm going to regret this. Underneath the table. Uh, I'm going to regret this. Vicious Betrayal. Oop. What does that do? I'm oh, inking it. Inking it, okay. Yeah, but it gives plus two to a character, or if it's a villain chosen it gets plus three instead okay. but i'm making it and i'm gonna regret that oh i'm gonna regret that so bad <laughs> i already regret it i wish i hadn't done it regretty spaghetti oh the regretty spaghetti and then i'm gonna play uh aladdin street rat yep. and he is one that you lose a lore when played oh rude And I'm going to quest with Jasper, which I'm going to say... You can't quest. What does that one do when you quest? I look at the top card of my deck, put it on either top or bottom of my deck. Can't quest with Yzma. Okay. Next round. Uh, I'm going to quest with Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. And a cat. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll quest with him too. So I'm going to quest for three. Okay. My turn? Yeah. Did I? Yeah, I, I drew. Okay. Hey, puppy. Leave the camera alone. The wardrobe is going to the ink. Oh, hi, puppy. Rafiki, mysterious mage, sage. Yes. Um, Why Riki, Rafiki can't be used as... Well, I guess because it's a 3-3. Three, three. It's got to give somewhere, I guess. These two are attacking Jasper. I figured. So they'll both get two damage counters. Um, okay. And then... Well, yeah, never mind, sorry. No, I get it. Um, requesting or attacking? I'm going to quest with Maleficent and Stitch. I'm going after the Aladdin. So we trade off. Yep. And, yep, except a challenge. Yep. I can't remember which one does what, so. Pass. Okay. That one cricket's driving me insane. So I'm going to use Horace Snow Good Scoundrel for ink. Mm hmm. And I'm going to play Shift for Aladdin. Good boy. Heroic Outlaw. 
Whenever this can character banishes another character in challenge, I gain two lore and each opponent loses two lore. Yep. That's a problem card. Yep. You can't do anything. I'd imagine you playing it on top is the same thing. It's wet ink. Let's go to the ruse. I mean, it doesn't I know matter. if it's exerted, it comes in exerted, but... Can you play it on top of an exerted character? Yeah. Because I looked that up one of the first games we played. No kidding. Uh, Disney Lorcana Shift. Does Shift have to dry? The Shift ability lets you play a card with Shift on top of another card with the same name. The new card on top gains all the quantities qualities of the old card, including any damage. Rather, if not, they're exerted, and if their ink is wet or dry. So all the qualities? So we still use this? No, not that. Okay. So So it I can would be say, played. I would say you could play it, yeah. That's the way I read that. But see, when I read it, I heard all qualities, which to me would include the text. I think it So like abilities. Yeah. Which doesn't matter because this one's on play, but... I don't think it means abilities, but I'm, I think it means, like, the conditions it's in. So, like, if you have damage counters and stuff, it would yeah. transfer over. Well, I wasn't going to play it, but I wasn't sure. Because... Um, I'll lure one with Sergeant Tibbs. Okay. You're not doing anything with Lydon? Not this round, no. Okay. My turn, then? It's probably a bad idea. Oh, uh, because you're probably going to... Yeah, no, it's your turn. Yeah, it's a bad idea, but... Pascal, Rapunzel's companion, become ink. You have six. I am. Hmm. I want a quest with Yzma. Mm -hmm. So I get to look at the top card in my library and decide if I'm going to put it on top or bottom. Hmm. Which I guess I get one, but... What did you attack with those two? Jasper? Yeah, Jasper. I don't think you... Oh, because you're... Okay, never mind, yeah. I was like, I don't think you added that. I think you gave yourself too much damage, but no, you gave yourself the right amount. It's going to stay on top, I think. My turn? Yep. The more we play this, the more I'm kind of impressed with the combat system, you know? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to play Corella DeVille, miserable as usual. I'm just checking the batteries. As ink. Okay. Then I'm going to... Five. I'm going to play Mad Hatter, uh, mm -hmm. Gracious Host. Whenever this character is challenged, I may draw a card. Mm -hmm. I like that card. And then... You're going to banish my Yzma. I'm going to Mother Knows Best and return your Yzma to oh, hand. Damn. Okay. 
And then for songs, do they does the ink need to dry for songs? What do you mean? So like if you wanted to play a character, like if I wanted to play a song off yeah, hand. Yeah, the ink okay. has to be dry. Okie doke. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Rule book judge. 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 Uh, I'm pretty sure though. I'd be my guess, but I songs, wasn't sure. Each song is a character with X cost more, can tap to have free. If your character is listed with a higher cost, you can exert the character uh, using your purchase. Rules for when you exert is still apply, so of course characters can't sing songs when they come into play. I figured, so. but I wasn't 100% sure. No, that's, no. Sorry. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and quest for the one. All right. My I turn? almost forgot. Yeah, your turn. All right. Um, the wardrobe is going to become ink. Ooh, the facilier. Yes. I can't, he, I remember as a pain in the butt, but I can't remember what he does. Uh, whenever one of my characters is banished, it returns to my hand. That's it. And so I'm going to do is Rafiki and Maleficent are going to attack Aladdin. So I would get I'm four? Gonna lose, I'm going to lose four lore and you're going to gain four. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go one by one because you declare which one you want to go first. Uh, Rafiki, which goes back to my hand. Okay, and how much damage do I take? Just one? Three. Three. And then Maleficent, which goes back to my hand. Okay. So I was at seven. Would that kill I go down him? To three. Yep. Okay. I didn't see what Maleficent had. That's why I was asking. And then I will lure for one. Okay. I will pass. I have a game in lore. Hmm. Just got rid of that one. I couldn't attack that one. I, okay. Oh, well, you couldn't. That's right. Well, I didn't think about that. In so. my defense, I was also going to send your facilier back to hand. So. Oh, that's rude. All right. You got that one. I, I got that one by that pure one. luck. I didn't think about that. I got that by pure luck. <laughs> I honestly almost screwed it up and was just about ready to use I, tea, the Mad Hatter to send it back. I activated your own... Uh, trap card. <laughs> trap card. Uh, I'll go first. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Damn. No, this round we're playing winner chooses. I'll go first. What? Well, you won the dice roll, and normally that don't happen, so I figured why not. <laughs> um, Am I shuffling these in backwards? No. I will say, playing... I, we're only, you know, we only got one game in with this deck. I definitely feel like I like the, the Sapphire Steel deck the most so far. I don't know. I kind of this one I like. This one's running pretty cool, but I still think I like the amethyst amber best. I think the sapphire steel was my least favorite so far. <laughs> the thing I like is about this is the recursion, the returning cards from yeah. the graveyard to your hand Getting or banishment. Back. Yeah, like that's pretty cool. I do like that because I was about to flood the board next turn, but then yeah, I didn't. <laughs> math didn't math yeah, for you. Yeah, I, I didn't math at all. I was worried because I had two... Uh, starting hand, I had my Aladdin and my big Aladdin. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I just need to get... And then I pulled a second Aladdin. That's like, oh, that's cool because if he flushes my first Aladdin, I got a backup plan. But and then at one point, I was starting to lose anything to build ink off of. Yeah. I had in hand two... Two act two action songs, yeah. That wouldn't, that don't collect ink. So I was like, dang it. That uh, mother knows best card's annoying. It reminds me of snap or boomerang or vapor snag from Magic that annoys the shit out of me all the time. Yeah, it's it doesn't really do much other than just add an extra turn. Yeah, you kind of time walk your opponent a little bit. And that's what I was trying to do. Just get a little extra time to figure something out. What is this one? Okay. Um, I, I will keep. We all know I never mulligan. 
Let's see what I got. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'm on the draw, so heart of the cards, baby. So we're good? Oh, but we're going. All right, uh, Dingle Hopper is going to be an ink. And Pascal, here we go. Um, Vicious Betrayal, Oop. Yeah. ink. And who'd have guessed? Your turn. <laughs> Part of the cards are not with me. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Is it? Not really. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this Olaf is going to become ink here. Quest for one. And then I'm going to play an Olaf. Pass. I think you were very specific that it was that one Olaf. That was, <laughs> it's like, because the other one gave me. Well, I kind of want to play both, but I feel like the cards in my hand are better if I don't do that. Get it. I get it. Um, Vicious Betrayal. Yep. Ink. Um. Aladdin, Prince Ali. Yep. I, obviously, that's when I can't do anything else, so it's your turn. Hmm. Um. Is that really good? I don't know. I think I'm going to Jetsam is going to become a ink, and then I'm going to play Mickey Mouse, True Friend. Oh, you're flooding the board early. And questing for two. As one does. And pass. You had a better hand than I did. I don't know yet. Um... Iago, Loudmouth Parrot, mm -hmm. Ink. Um, Aladdin, Street Rat, you lose a lure. Oh, food. I've worked so hard to gain that lure. Uh, I just want to get it on the board, so I'm going to go ahead and quest. Although I think you're going to kill my okay. guy. My turn? Yep. Hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> Can't ever get that out of my head. Why? Right. <laughs> Was it a good movie? No. Is it probably the most quoted movie we ever watched? <laughs> Aside from Talladega Nights. Right. I'm going to tap Mickey to friends on the other side. Oh. I was like, how are you tapping? No, because it's a song. Two. Oh, just draw two? Yep. That's a... So, the music in that movie slaps. <sighs> okay. That might change things for me. Good or bad? Don't know. Probably good then. Control your temper. Go into my inkwell to play Mickey Mouse, Wayward Sorcerer. Oh. And, wait, hold on, I can do stuff. What's your way, what's this to do again? Brooms cost one less to play for each character. Whenever one or more brooms is banished, you may return them to my hand. And cool. I'm going to tap to quest for two. Makes sense, makes sense. And I will pass. 
Oh, that's not the way you go. Why do I always flip these different ways? Um, well, uh, Horace, mm -hmm. no good scoundrel, ink. Why do you always play your ink after you play your characters? I don't know. It's not like you're like, it's a surprise. <laughs> like you no, <laughs> I think it's just how my brain processes stuff to do. Um, I'm going to... Do a Pongo Old Rascal. He's got evasive. Yep. Um... <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to regret it. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and lure for one. Yeah. I don't know what my I don't know what my strategy is yet. I'm still feeling <laughs> it out. My turn. Yeah. Dude. I mean, it's a good card, but... I'm trying to figure out if you're going to play it or not. If it could ink. I think it's better ink. Moana is going to ink. I know it's a good card. Right. Well, I don't know how many princesses I have. There's honestly a surprising amount of princesses on there. Damn. I don't think a lot. Mistakes have been made. But yeah, once you start really, you're because I know you've got Cinderella in there. Yeah. And who else do you have? Okay, I'm going to Rafiki, and then play double brooms. Shuffle this back into my deck. Oh yeah, because they are one less. Um, what are you shuffling back in your deck? My one discard card. Because when this. Oh, Rafiki gave you the. Okay. No, the magic room just. Oh! What are the, they. When you when play, you play this character, you may shuffle a card from any discard pile into its owner's deck. What did you shuffle back in? Friends from another side. That's right. Okay. I was like, it all happens so quick. Um, Rafiki is going to attack your Aladdin. So you take two? Yep, and then I'm going to quest for four. As one does, yep. And then I will pass. Well then, I'm going to... play... Uh, Colonel's Lieutenant, or Captain Colonel's Lieutenant, Ink. Okay. I think I inked it every time, too, when I drew that card. It's nice to have a big character, big guy, but it just ain't doing it for me right now. Yeah, the more we've played this, the more I'm like, the combat system in this game is actually really sweet. Personally. That's what I personally think. And then I'm going to Pongo. Yikes. Pongos are a rough card. And I'm going to lure for... You don't have any evasive out, do you? Pascal. Pascal's evasive? If I control another creature, he is. Another character. Well, you can't. You can't double up with him, then. Nope. I'm going to lure for with Pongo. For two? Uh, yeah. For now. Okay. I think you might outrun me. I didn't get enough steam going in time. My turn? Yep. Stitch, new dog. Dang. 
If you just lowered everything, you'd be hecking. Or quests, every, are you questing everything? Everything but Wayward Sorcerer. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So would that be 15? Oh, I gotta be able to do, make moves. Is that it? No, yep, I'll pass. I gotta make moves. Let's see. Not making moves. Well, he's got a sword, goes into my inkwell. We pulled like two of these out of packs. I definitely think that's good. Mickey Mouse, Wayward Sorcerer. Especially if we have enough brooms. You know, broom tribal here. What does he do? Brooms return to my hand if they get banished. Got it. There's nothing I can do. You have it. I think. Oh. Being a little overzealous and going for the handshake. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me math real quick. Hold on, my brain's processing real quick. Dang. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Because, and tell me if I'm wrong. If I banished your Mickey. Yeah. So that's, I'm just, I'm banished it. And then I used uh, one of the Pongos to get rid of your Pascal, because I could kill it. Mm -hmm. And then I used Aladdin and a Pongo to get rid of your Mickey. It's W1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so you'd got it. That's what, that's what I kept coming up, but I just wanted to get a second opinion on that. That was a terrible handshake. You don't shake with before the fingers are like in the hand. <laughs> the pure look of disgust. Disgusting. You going first then? What a terrible bad handshake. Yes. So we've gone to game three with every deck. Every single time, yep. We've gone to game three. It's pretty good. Yeah. You just ran the board with me on that. Yeah, the wayward Mickey and the brooms are pretty good. I just couldn't get any. I needed those pongos out earlier. Speaking of which, are there other brooms in the deck, or is it just I the just one saw brood? those two. Huh? The two cars, I only saw those two ever. I imagine there's three of them, since they're common. Yeah, there's three. No, I meant the two types, the Mickey and then the broom. Yeah, yeah, that's all that's in here. So in theory, like, it could be broom tribal. <laughs> <laughs> you can just sweep the opponents. Leave them in there. Does. I kept holding that banish, hoping you'd get the facilier out. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? That would have. Honestly, no. I just didn't have a reason to play it for a one lore. Then you started flooding the board, and I was like, crap. <laughs> I'm too late now. There's nothing I can do. There's a selfish part of me that hopes this game doesn't really go very far, so that way we can get the cards for cheap that we want. <laughs> <laughs> but another part of me is like, nah. It's Disney. They'll yeah. never be cheap. Eh, that's probably true. I 
I gotta say, I've been pretty impressed with the game so far, though. I did it weird. Okay, this is a bunch of new cards I've not seen before, so let me look here. Finally shuffled it right. Oh no. This is a bad hand. Obviously, I'm gonna keep it. Because. Why wouldn't I? Oh no, this might be too bad of a hand. You know what? Nah. This is a really bad hand. I'm keeping it. Because I don't <laughs> like to. I don't like the time it takes to. Mulligan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this, too, but I'm not, like, in love with this. I am aggressively not in love with this. All right. And I'm on first play? Yep. Well. Horse, no good scoundrel. Yep. Ink. What do you do? Okay. Okay. Um... Hmm. That changes how I'm playing things. <laughs> oh no. You finally like your different. hand? I don't know if I like it, but it changes things. Just uh, like it Akuna was. Matata. What a wonderful ink. Stitch. Yeah. Here you go. Why do you get stitch so much more than I got stitch? I think there's three stitches in here. Let's Wait. Find out. Uh, Megara, Ink. Okay. Sergeant Tibbs. Sergeant Tibbs. <laughs> That's my turn? Yeah, there's three stitches in this deck. Oh, I thought you meant like three different stitches. It's going to all the one. Um, all right. I think I'm slowly Olaf. scooting across the board. Friendly Snowman is going to come Ink. Let's quest with Stitch. As one does. And let's play Dr. Facilier Charlatan. Mm, that means you pulled into the big Facilier. Yes. No, it did not. Oh. I pulled into something else. Well. Friggin' duck. This ain't making it any better. Excuse me. <sighs> I kind of feel like I'd like purple and blue. Amethyst and sapphire. Because I like what the amethyst is doing. And I like what the ramp stuff sapphire is doing. See, I feel like I would like red because I like the whole return to banish character return to hand lose lore yeah and amethyst because I like the big punchies well I don't have much to do right now <laughs> uh, I'm gonna regret this Aladdin street rat Peach Japans. He's got evasive. Okay. He just gets bonus when he's challenged. When I'm challenging. Yeah. Him. Yep. Okay. Obviously not challenging, just questing. Okay. Yeah. My turn. Yep. <laughs> this was such a bad hand to keep. <laughs> Oh, I, I regret will. my life choices. Magic Broom will become ink. Um, you don't even have to waste your time on my characters. I made such bad life choices with this. <laughs> I will have three to Maleficent. When it enters the battlefield, it may draw a card. When, this, when you play this character, you may draw a card. Okay. And I will quest for two. And pass. Give me some. Oh, I'm so sorry I drew two, but I didn't look at that. You're fine. Okay. 
I probably should have kept the other one that I didn't look at because it had to have been better than this. <laughs> this is where we need like face cams too. Turn away. I want to show the. Okay. I'm looking away. I don't know if the camera can even see that because I can't see the thingy. <laughs> I'm sure probably can see it. Can I look now? Yes. Um. Keep my eyes closed any longer, I'll fall asleep. Well then, I'm going to <laughs> gonna lure for two. All right. Please don't kill my Sergeant Tibbs. He's all I got in life right now. <laughs> my turn. Yeah. If you kill it, be gentle and swift. <laughs> Uh, Akuna Matata. Holy crap! I just realized what I actually had in my hands. Akuna Matata and the ink. Is it good? No. Oh. But like, it's just... It's the flavor. <laughs> it's the flavor of it. That's what it is. You know what it is, because the uh, flavor text on the card is exactly what I'm feeling like right now. <laughs> um, I'm going to tap four to play Cinderella. Oh my god. Did... Did you get Moana? Is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> no. This was a card that I drew that I was like, this might change thing because I have a handful of princesses. Not the princesses. Uh, Stitch is going to lure and Dr. Facilier is going to kill Tibbs. You butthole. That's all I had going for myself right now. And I'll pass. Give me something. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, can I do? No. No, I cannot. Well, uh, oh, I guess I could have lured with Maleficent. Oh, well. This guy's going to be ink. Okay. That was the Seismitar, right? I don't know how it's pronounced. That's why I didn't say it. <laughs> the thing, the scabbard. Scabbard. And I could... The pointy, savvy piece I could have Peter Pan sing it, but he's my only hope to even do anything right now. Okay. So instead, I'm going to pay to Mother Knows Best and return Cinderella to your hand. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to lure for Pan. Okay. No, quest for Pan. My turn. Yes. Because I am stuck in limbo. All right. Let's... Well, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't like red no more. Let's, uh... Ew. I gotta look. These are getting Where's... dirty quick. Are they? Well, I guess not. It's just, they just scrape off, but, like, there's a lot of stuff sticking to them. What are you looking for? I gotta know, can you play two characters with the same name? On the yes. Field? You can? Yeah. I have before. You can play up to four in your deck, so I imagine that means you can play them at the same time. Four copies, yeah, you can just have four copies. I just didn't know, like, if you could play them both. I'd imagine you can. I've done it before with uh, Pongo, remember? Yeah, I know. I say go for it. Let's just look real quick. Are you going to play another Maleficent or another Stitch? Neither. You're going to play but two I have of the two cards in my oh. hand that are the same. Disney. You got two Arcana two drops. Playing characters. And you're playing with the... the same. Hmm. Game. You can play them. Oh, both. have we been playing this wrong? What do you mean? For example, if I already have an Olaf friendly snowman in the field, can I play another one? Things be common knowledge. No, you can't. You can. No limit to characters at the See? moment. Okay. I was like, dang. Well, when I saw the headline on Google, it says no. In the dot, dot, dot. And then, yeah, basically. So, all right. Um, I don't think I need to build my inkwell currently any more than I have to. So, I'm going to just play Cinderella again. And I'm going to lure for three. As one does. And pass. 
Give me... Oh. Turn use the right way. Give me anything that I can use. <laughs> Are you, like, inkless? All over for what? Okay. I, I really shouldn't get this hand. <laughs> my turn? You know, my goblins have never done this to me before. <laughs> when I trust my cards, they, they love me back. Um, I don't like this deck no more. Play Ariel on human legs. And quest for two, four, three, five. four, five. Oh my god. I'm pass. not going to get anything out before. <laughs> hey! Can I do anything with that? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, sorry. Um, He's got a sword for ink. Okay. Oh, sorry. He's normal. Um, and I'm going to Dragonfire, which is Banish Chosen Character. There goes... Mm. Your Cinderella. Cindy Rally. <laughs> and I'm gonna lure or quest for one. Okay. Catching up to you. My turn. I guess. Cause I can't do nothing. I'm starting to cook with uh not much. Play another area on legs. This is why I was asking. What do they do? You just can't sing with them. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, they're two each. Dang. Yeah. Two, three, five. Four, five. Five. Yep. Pass. <sighs> Give me something. What can I do with this now? Not enough. Horse. Okay. Ink. Gonna go ahead and banish your aerial. And you'll still do five. I mean, is there anything I can do to stop it? You'll do three no matter what. Nope. You got it. Good game. Good games. So what was happening there? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So you had none of the ink whatsoever. Yikes. Everything I got that was ink, Yikes. other than Peter, because he had evasive, had to go into... So mana screwing is a thing. Only if you do it to yourself. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, my goblins never harder the harder the carded me like that. <laughs> you didn't pay for your Lorcana premium. <sighs> Apparently. So that was the last of it. We played all three decks. We got three rounds of Lorcana in. Uh, what are your first thoughts? What are your thoughts? I like it. I like that they're. I mean, other than the fact I did it to myself, you know, <laughs> you really have a little bit more control over how the cards play. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that going in that I needed to mulligan it, but I don't like doing that because I'm lazy. <laughs> and I think it takes too much time to mulligan. So, my bad. Um, that being said, I would love to get to build a deck. Uh, I really like the way Ruby runs. I like its... How do you even explain it? Um, how would you explain that? Burn in a way? I mean, it's... In a weird way, yeah, kind of, because like you're taking your opponent's war away from them. Yeah, I like the way it runs with that, and I like the way Amethyst runs with... The recursion. Yeah, so I would love to try a Ruby Amethyst deck. I like... Uh, I like the Sapphire, like, mana ramping a lot, the draw power and stuff. And then I also like the am the Amethyst, like, recursion. Like, Dr. Facilier and the Mickey Wayward Sorcerer were mm -hmm. both really, really cool. Um, I also like a lot of the Amethyst, because it seems like the Amethyst creatures all kind of, like, heal in a way. Which I think is cool. Well, Facilier and... Are you sure you mean amethyst? Cause I meant uh, amber. Okay. I was going to say, because Facilier and uh, yeah. Mickey were amethyst. Yeah. Uh, so I yeah, kind of like amber that. Amber does run, it runs really well with amethyst. Yeah. I also, like, 
I also like um, <clears throat> Emerald. I like some of the green cards, some of the things they did. So I don't know. It's going to be a thing. I noticed like several games when you hit like that, like around here, this 15 mark, it's hard to catch back up or to like stop your opponent. But I wonder if you aren't playing starter decks and you can actually have like a constructed deck if you can't kind of combat that a little bit better. I think that's, that. I think that's, com now you have me thinking I can't combat, I think that's combated a little bit better with, um, what was it, Ruby? Which one was the, or no, Amethyst that allowed you to remove, was it Ruby? I, Ruby's only allows you to remove war counters. Yes, so I think he, Ruby can help in the later game a lot better than the other ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but like you said, there's not a lot to stop once they get towards the top, once they get towards just five away. Yeah. Um, the thing that really surprised me was the more we played this, I'm just really impressed with the combat system. I think the combat system in this game is fantastic. Uh, I like it is all decision based mm -hmm. in the sense of do I attack here, do I sing here, do I lure here, quest here, and how how will that how will that affect me in the back end? You know what I mean? Like, am I just going to get tranced here? You know, trounced here? Like trying to debate when to tap cards and stuff. It's really interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's really fun. Yeah, I think. Um, Obviously, there's going to be more to come. There's going to be more cards and stuff. But mm -hmm. I think with what started now, it's going to be really neat to see what happens when people start mixing these colors with more than just the starter decks. Yeah, and I, I think people are going kind of hog wild with it, but I'm not sure. Like, I haven't looked at any lists or anything because I just wanted to play these pretty, like... Blind. Blind, yeah. So I haven't really, like, looked very much at, like, what's going on with this game. But there's some really cool stuff here. I like a lot of it. It's fun. Definitely want to play more of it. Yeah, and I think one of the things I'm excited for, because I don't much care for deck building and magic, I get overwhelmed. Uh, I, I am looking forward to deck building in Lorcana. I think keeping it to just two makes it a little bit more accessible for everyone to deck build. Yeah, I like the limitation of only two. I think that's cool. It kind of because it kind of narrows you down into a play style a little bit more. Well, it just it also it, you're no longer faced with. I mean, six options. Yeah. You narrow it to two, and it makes it a lot more digestible for somebody who. Yep. How do I make these two colors work? Yeah. Yeah. Someone like me who's like, this is how do I know I'm balancing it right and this and that and again that also gets fixed knowing that the ink is just your cards you kind of fix that balancing issue yeah and like I said we only played starter decks so I don't know like how crazy power level there can yeah. be in this game but it also feels nice to kind of get into a game on the ground floor where there's not a million sets and a million cards and stuff and Kind of going from there, but like as a, overall, though, I've been really impressed with the game. I think it's really fun. The artwork's sweet. I like a lot of the mechanics. So I'm excited to play more of it. Yeah, I definitely think it's, and I don't say this in a negative way. I think it's a little more digestible than Magic. Uh, I think it's a little bit more entry friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, but more importantly, it opens up a whole nother group of people like for instance i know your mom is interested in this and she yeah. would never be interested in magic yeah right that'd be wild if she ends up picking up this game to play it that'd be crazy um she might watch this <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i think this game is is really cool and i i want to play more of it i like it i like it quite a bit i like, I like it, it too. i like it more than i thought i would yes same and i will say this we played three rounds of it I've played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! in my life, a lot of Magic. i played a handful of Pokemon. Um, and when it just comes to these, like, card games, I, I think this one, for my personal opinion, would be my second in line. I still think I like Magic more, but I would say this is probably my second in line. I like it better than what we've played a Pokemon. 
Uh, maybe if Yu-Gi-Oh was what it was when I was a kid, that might be a different story. <laughs> but being what it is now, it's I like it way better than Yu-Gi-Oh. So I like it. It's sweet. It's a cool game. Big fan. So, all right, well... We're going to bounce. Uh, we'll probably actually do more Lorcana stuff. Maybe we'll get some cards and make us some decks and play them or something, you know. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out. Uh, this was fun. A fun little venture to check out a new game. Also to try seeing what it would be like to do some stuff in paper. So maybe we'll do some paper other stuff in the future, too. So, bye, everybody. Bye.